Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will use an old hard drive to illustrate the concept of gyroscopic motion. This is nothing more than a manifestation of inertia. And remember that inertia is the resistance of any physical body to change its state of movement. For example, we have this steel ball and if it is moving at a certain speed in some direction, it wants to remain in that state of movement unless we apply a force. In this case, the ball stops or changes its state of movement because there is a force which is the resistance with the surface, that is the friction. The same happens, we also have inertia, when a body is rotating. For example, we have this kind of top here. If we want to maintain it in the vertical direction, we can see that it falls. But if it begins to rotate, then the plane of the movement is maintained. The object keeps rotating to maintain its original plane of movement. Now, hard drives internally have a disk that is rotating at very high speed. This is the disk when the information is stored and it rotates at several thousand revolutions per minute. So we can use an old hard drive to illustrate the gyroscopic motion. The higher the speed and the larger the mass of the disc, we will have a more uh, important gyroscopic effect. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. If you take the hard drive and connect it to the PC power supply, let me do it. It will start to spin and once it is spinning, if you try to move it, you can actually feel a resistance of the disc when you try to change the orientation. The disc inside is spinning at very high speed and it wants to maintain its state of movement. If you want to change that state by rotating it, you can feel the resistance to that change. Of course, this effect is relatively small and what we want to do is to increase it. In order to increase the gyroscopic effect, we can do two things. One is to increase the speed of rotation, which is not easy. And the second, that is what I will do, is to increase the mass of the rotating body. I will use this very old hard drive and because it is old, it has the advantage that this has two disks instead of just one, as in the case of this other model, which is newer. In fact, let me show you, I will disassemble it. We have this separator. This is the first disc, another ring, and this is the second disc. And this is the motor. And we can you can see we have a lot of space to stack several discs. We can get rid of the separator, put the second disc, and we still have space 
for more discs that I will put and I took them from another hard drives. In that way we will considerably increase the rotating mass and therefore increasing the rotational inertia or gyroscopic effect. It seems that we have room for one more. Okay. Yes. A total of seven discs. Okay, so let's try it. Let me connect the power. It takes some time to gain speed. Yes, now it feels much more stronger the resistance to the movement. You can see how it doesn't fall immediately, but it stays like floating for a while. Isn't that cool? Let me disconnect the cable. It will continue to rotate because of the inertia. The speed is now less and the effect starts to disappear. We need speed and mass for the gyroscopic effect. So what do you think? Gyroscopic effect, a very interesting concept. These mechanical hard drives are now being changed by the more modern ones, uh, solid state hard drives and you can get them very cheap or even for free in some uh, repair shop because uh, many times the logic of the drive is what it is bad but the motor is still in working condition. So if you want to make the experiment you can get these drives uh, almost for free. That's all for today. I hope you liked this video, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.